the world of, of politics. Now, you were a leader in the uh, Dodger protest. Now, for me, it was beautiful to see so many Christians come together for a cause and peacefully make our voices heard around the country. Uh, why don't we see Christians mobilizing on a large scale more often? Do you, do you think this is a, a trend that maybe we will see it more often? Or what are your thoughts? Well, uh, I certainly hope and pray that we will see it more often. We need to. We don't, again, we don't, I mean, sometimes very um, strong traditional Christians are accused of, of being, you know, attacking society or a, a accused of being terrorist almost. Um, but that isn't the truth of who we are. We know a Lord and Savior that is full of love and we feel an obligation to share that love. Uh, that's the reason I went to Dodger Stadium. Yes, it was controversial. It shouldn't be. We should be very clear, raising our voices, not in attack, but in clarity and compassion. It's real compassion to speak against the, the false messages like what was going on at Dodger Stadium, to act as if it's perfectly fine to mock and blaspheme the Lord and to make fun of women who have beautifully dedicated their lives to following Jesus Christ, to mock that and treat it, treat it as something um, that can be denigrated, that is harmful to society and disrespectful to those women who have freely chosen to give themselves as followers, as disciples in our modern world of Jesus Christ. There are many different groups that if they were attacked in a similar way, they might well become violent. As Christians, we're called not to do that. And I thought it was beautiful at Dodger Stadium. It was not violent. It wasn't attacking anyone. It was praying the rosary and speaking the name of Christ, speaking his truth and urging people to respect and share that truth. That's what Christians are always called to do. And I th believe, not because of anything I did, but because of good people gathered, and where two or three are gathered, there is the Lord. I believe he was there, the Holy Spirit was guiding that gathering to keep it peaceful and clear in the truth. And we need to do that more and more out of love for those who are perpetrating some blasphemy against the Lord and those who have dedicated their lives to him, we don't attack, but we stand and speak the truth and make that truth very clear that we can't just allow the name of Christ to be uh, blasphemed and not say anything. We, we don't attack, but we make it very clear that this is not appropriate because it's attacking the truth that ultimately allowing that to be eroded, allowing children and younger people to see, well, I guess this truth doesn't really make any difference. It's really not the treasure that I was once told it was because we're allowed to just treat it like trash. Hmm. We can't allow that to happen uh, because it is the pearl of great price that we've found when we know Jesus Christ. And so we've got to continue as long as we have breath to do things like that prayerful rally at Dodger Stadium to call people to know the truth. And the truth has a face is Jesus Christ who is truth incarnate.